Yeah, I mean, I think Say can come across as kind of sullen and there is that adolescent edge to it. But um, for me, what attracted me to Say was that there is that, though. It's more of a kind of, from a philosophical kind of standpoint, he's very kind of stoic in the way that it deals with, um, you know, the things that happened to, that have happened to him and then, you know, his relationship with, like, the, the bullies in the film and things. So I think he has this very... Um, spiritual kind of approach to life and even though that can come across as very um, standoffish at times it, it's really from a, a spiritual kind of philosophical standpoint I think and that's what attracted to me. Yeah. There's certainly an instant kind of um, feeling between them I, I think what's what I really like about the relationship is that it's it's very adolescent but it's very you know it's their first love but at the same time it's that kind of wonderful love where you you almost hate them a bit at first and then it becomes and then it, you realize you know it's almost you know it's almost like a playground thing of you know you hit the girl you fancy because you know it's that thing but it's, it's for them they both kind of don't know how to deal with this and and they have this wonderful kind of off-kilter, strange courtship where outdoorsy and he somehow tries to woo her by showing her castles and caves and, and uh, yeah, it's very, it's not kind of the classic sort of love story in that sense. There's no kind of cliched, like, let's go for coffee. It's like, even when he does have a kind of normal date where he takes her to the cinema, it's because to do that he has to wake her up at six in the morning to, you know, get some money by picking apples, so nothing's like... There's no kind of romantic tropes, uh, which I like. Yeah, um, yeah, the, the kind of sort of the complete polar opposite of the two characters is is funny, and uh, and from, from my point of view, to play say as this uh, mainly silent. I mean, my heroes are Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton, so I'm used to kind of silent cinema. But obviously, this isn't a slapstick kind of comedy. But to have that. I think still I kind of, to have that kind of maintain a kind of character and, and the relationship where she can kind of, she can mouth off, you know, over and over, you know, and the, the development of, I think they both kind of compromise over time that she kind of learns to listen a bit more and not necessarily voice every thought that comes into her head and he learns to kind of come out a bit and communicate and even though he still communicates in a very... Um, uh, concise way, you know, he, he knows what he wants to say and he only kind of speaks when he feels he needs to. He, uh, yeah, it was nice to kind of, it, that's my favourite part of the relationship, the way they kind of come together and find that compromise together. Yeah, and I suppose because it obviously it's my first feature film, so um, even though I've worked on screen before in like TV and stuff, it's, yeah, it was nice to kind of be able to slowly develop in the film, and obviously it wasn't shot in order, but still to have that kind of slow um, evolution from a very sullen kind of teenager to someone who comes out of his shell a little bit and, and through because of his relationship with Grace and, and his relationship with his mother. and I don't know, I think there's something very human about um, all the relationships in the film and, you know, a lot of the time you don't have to say a lot in, in with people that you care, really care about, you know, often it's that Pulp Fiction line, isn't it? The... Um, it's great when you find someone you can just shut up in front of. I mean, yeah, the, the, in Hereford and on that kind of the Welsh English border, it's just such a beautiful landscape, and and it, it's, it shows so beautifully in the film um, with Will's cinematography and. Uh, it is another character, so it it's it was wonderful to kind of to be there and kind of with say this kind of philosophical nature. It was just wonderful to kind of sit back and and uh, explore all the different parts. And that there was a kind of playful element to it in the way we could explore, you know, the castles and the swimming in the lake and things or the river. And yeah, it certainly you don't have to say much when this you, know, you can kind of shut up because there's wonderful things to look at. You don't have to you know mar it by talking about everything, you know.